A new study from the Spokane Riverkeeper reveals alarming levels of PFAS pollution in the Spokane River watershed. The source, reportedly a fertilizer replacement used in agriculture that appears to be introducing these toxic forever chemicals into the water system. Regan Gallo analyzed the findings and looks at what the implications are for Spokane's water quality and public health. Well, Spokane Riverkeeper says it is alarming because PFAS concentrations are 5,000% higher in areas downstream of where this replacement fertilizer is being used. The Spokane community is no stranger to PFAS contamination. Just because the water is clear doesn't mean there's not PFAS in it. Spokane Riverkeeper says they discovered a new problem, a fertilizer replacement called biosolids. Biosolids are the remnants of our wastewater treatment process. Washington State's Department of Ecology describes biosolids as a soil amendment that farmers and land managers can use as a replacement of commercial fertilizer. Jewel Schultz with Spokane Riverkeeper says biosolids are rich in phosphorus nitrogen. And they're an excellent source of relatively cheap fertilizer. However, I think what we didn't realize or we re are realizing too late is there's a host of other nasties in those biosolids, right? And what we're calling for is to test for PFAS in those biosolids and to not apply them until we know they're safe. Schultz says they tested multiple locations around the region, including Dragoon Creek in Deer Park, which is one spot where those high concentrations of PFAS were found. He describes prior to this study, there has not been much testing on the impacts of biosolids. We need a larger statewide or federal coordination for the removal of PFAS from our, um, from our waste stream. And the high contamination of PFAS violates the human health standards for surface water. Violates the draft uh, human health standard for surface water. And that's really designed to protect people that depend on the river, depend on the fish in the river, and depend on drinking water from our surface water. Now, Spokane Riverkeeper says there needs to be more state regulation on the impacts of those biosolids, and they're asking community leaders to stop the use of biosolids until further testing can be done. Now, I have reached out to the state's Department of Ecology to get their response, but am still waiting to hear back. I'm reporting here at the Spokane River, Regan Gallo, Crime 2 News.